Hello again, everyone inside the Nine on Your Side studio. I'm Ken Watling with an update on Tropical System Florence as it continues to impact our area. East Carolina University announcing today it will resume classes on Wednesday, September 19th. Classes will start at 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. University officials say the school will be flexible and offer support for students who can't travel or return at that time due to hurricane-related issues. Residence halls on ECU's campus will open at noon Tuesday. One of the shelters in Greene County has closed. The county closing the shelter at Greene County Intermediate School. The shelter at Greene Central High School remains open. The Department of Transportation has shut down I-95 south of U.S. 64 in Nash County due to flooding. The State Highway Patrol posting a photo of the area this afternoon to their Twitter page. Motorists are encouraged to follow detour routes posted by DOT. Pamlico County has issued a curfew for tonight. It will start at 9 o'clock, continue until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. During those hours, officials are authorized to deny or restrict any person access to any area within the county. In Lenore County, Kinston Mayor Don Hardy also issuing a curfew for that city tonight. The curfew will start at 8 o'clock and last until 7 tomorrow morning. This curfew will remain in effect every day until further notice. Mayor Hardy citing increasing water levels and expecting record flooding that could surpass Hurricane Matthew totals. Don't come back to Beaufort, at least not yet. That's what town officials are warning residents due to extensive and heavy flooding throughout that Carteret County town. Officials say there are no safe routes, routes into Beaufort. There are also downed power lines, trees, and debris. A townwide curfew remains in effect from sunset to sunrise. They say they are monitoring the situation and will let everyone know when it is safe. To return. And Carteret County continuing to encourage citizens to remain safe. Many areas of that county experiencing down power lines and flooding, including homes and roadways. The majority of Carteret County is without power right now. The county urging residents to take the following safety precautions. Regardless of swimming ability, flood water poses a drowning risk for everyone. Swiftly moving water can be deadly and shallow, and standing water can be dangerous for small children. Vehicles may be swept away or stall in as little as six inches of water. Hazardous chemicals and sharp objects may be swept up in floodwaters and could cause injury. If you see a down power line, move away from it and anything that may be touching it. If you see someone who is in contact with a down power line, do not touch the person. Instead, call 911. Watch where you're walking so you don't place your feet near water where a down power line is located. And we urge every Carteret County resident to heed those safety warnings and stay safe. Stay tuned on WNCT 9 on your side. We'll have complete coverage of the aftermath of Tropical System Florence as soon as the LSU-Auburn game is over sometime after 7 o'clock. Plus, later on tonight, we'll be on at 10 on Eastern North Carolina CW and a complete wrap-up at 11 on WNCT 9 on your side.